All right, guys, what we've got here today is the Cheap Shop 130 by Cold Steel. You know, opening up the box, uh, thing seems pretty cool. Doesn't have a whole lot of parts that I need to put together. Comes with a little tool, got a sight, a little red dot. That's kind of cool. Feels a little bit flimsy, but uh, yeah, you'll see here in a little bit, it does do the trick. Now, as far as the actual crossbow, uh, this thing feels like quality. Um, I was actually really impressed with the, uh, the makeup of it. Yeah, it's got the collapsible uh, stock. The instruction manual seems pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing too complicated with it. That's always good. Right, and as far as putting it together, yes. really it's just a matter of popping this uh, little pin out, sticking this part in here. Make sure that it's seated all the way and then pop it in. The way that you uh, pull the string back is you just crack that down, lock it back into place and it is ready to rock and roll. Now right here I did mess up a little bit. I did not realize that you uh, couldn't dry fire it. So you just kind of have to pull that little pin up right there and yeah, then un uh, unrack it and it makes it pretty then it's pretty easy to get it uh, get it undone. Just like that. And now that I've got that disaster averted, I'll go ahead and put the uh, butt stock on this thing. Real simple, just pull the pin, slide it in, and then push it back through. And put the uh, foregrip on it. And that right there is pretty much it. This thing is ready to rock and roll. And throw the side on it and, you know, see how that thing works out. Um, usually, Usually I don't like to use the sights like that, but uh, it came with it, so we'll see how it works. Just a couple of screws. Really, the only tool I needed the whole time was my Leatherman. Which I thought was pretty neat. A lot of crossbows that I get uh, are a lot more complicated to put together. You need a lot of tools. And quite honestly, they don't feel quite like the quality that this thing is especially for the price. Yep, now that we got it all put together, we take it outside and uh, get a few shots with it, see how it does. All right guys, well I got it all put together. It was extremely easy. Uh, really the only tool I had to use was my, uh, my Leatherman for the screwdriver. Yeah, this. I was pretty impressed with that. So let's uh, put one in it, see if we can hit a target. The way that you uh, rack this thing back, pull this down, they grab hold of it, push it back, it's ready to rock and roll. Go ahead and slide this in there. All right, it is in. Let's see if we can hit a target. Oh. oh, that's a pretty good shot. Let's walk over here and take a look. Yeah. Not too bad. Let's scoot back a little bit and see what we can do. Good grief. All right, it went through the board and into the tree. There we go. Good as new. Yeah. 
I'm not sure. Oh man. I think that just might be the end of them. Yep, just needed to tweak the side a little bit and it is good to go. I was going to sell this, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep it now. This thing is pretty cool. I love how easy it is to oh, get it locked back. And it is pretty dang powerful too. So. Yep. I would say that that is a kill shot. Well, I'm going to call this thing pretty dang cool. Cold steel cheap shot. I like it.